Forbes listed entrepreneur, a renowned naval architect with Guinness entry, a world record holding poet, and a passionate Hollywood filmmaker Cerso and Roy, is the founder chairman and CEO of the 25-year-old Ares Group, a world-class consortium of more than 60 companies in 25 countries with over 2,200 employees that houses the world's largest chip design and inspection firm. Hailing from a small village in India, he now runs a multinational conglomerate of diversified companies. His business acumen helped him to build Ares Marine from the ground up, starting with ship inspections and expanding into naval architecture, design, offshore engineering and project management. The company is now a world leader in many fields it operates in, providing employment opportunities to thousands of people and creating a positive impact on the lives of countless others. Serso and Roy is the first Indian ordained with the prestigious knighthood by Ordu Partis Gulfer of Italy for his humanitarian and environmental protection efforts in business and movies. Under his guidance his design team undertook a world-leading effort in making more than 2,500 big ships worldwide, more environmentally friendly. His debut documentary Dams the Lethal Water Bombs and film Dam 999 highlighted the importance of environmental protection, especially the disasters caused by dams. While the documentary received 23 international awards, the movie Dam 999 was shown at about 130 international film festivals and became the first Indian movie to get shortlisted in the Oscars 2011 mainstream category. He has more than 250 visionary initiatives and products to his credit, including the $10 billion project Indywood that aims to integrate the Indian film industry with the world, the world's first maritime TV channel Marine Biz TV, the healthcare TV channel Medibiz TV, the International Maritime Club IMC, the Indywood Billionaires Club IBC, the World Medical Council WMC, the revolutionary HR efficiency improvement tool IFISM, the Ares Maritime Research Institute Amri that he founded has been instrumental in promoting the industrial doctorate concept to create a bridge between academics and the industry. His vision for with Amri stepping into the future as the industrial metaverse university. It aims to transform the current education system by integrating academics with industry through proper career design guidance and integrating the latest artificial intelligence tools into the industry and academics. Its implementation in the rural sectors has already begun by introducing educational 3D theatre classrooms in tribal schools. As a far-sighted entrepreneur and philanthropist, he has been instrumental in initiating many humanitarian and women empowerment initiatives, including parental pension, spouse salary, two-year baby care leave, two-day monthly menstrual leave, house for the homeless, child education support, early retirement schemes with pension, financial support to women's startups, reserving 50% shares for employees, women-centric offices, anti-dowry, anti-sexism and anti-caste policies, and many other happiness initiatives. He led his companies through challenging times, including multiple global financial crises and the COVID-19 pandemic, with resilience and determination. Through his inspiring journey of three decades, Serso and Roy has shown that anything is possible if you have the right mindset, work hard, and stay true to your values. His story is a testament to the power of determination, resilience, and giving back. He is a man who has shown that success are not measured in profits, but also in the lives touched and the difference made. In a world that often celebrates wealth and power, Sir Sawan's story is a reminder that true success is measured not just by what one achieves, but also by how one impacts the world around them. As he continues to shape the business landscape and make a difference in the lives of others, may his legacy inspire generations to come.